Welcome to the BEAM tutorial for the Oceana 800. In the video, we will be going through a brief overview of setting up and using your Oceana 800. The items that come in the box, running from left to right, the Oceana 800 unit, the active antenna, the privacy handset, springless cup for either desk mounted or wall mounted positions. It also comes with a spring cup that is fitted to the Oceana 800 and that is used for rough conditions. The power pack and the AC-DC power cables. With the Oceana 800, there are two unique mounting cups for the privacy handset. Already installed on the unit is a spring cup for rough environments. To remove the handset, you have to lift the spring cup. Alternatively, we supply the springless cup for desk or wall mounting positions. These are easily interchangeable with the removal of a few screws. On the rear, there are eight fixing holes available for wall mounting orientation. To remove the mounting plate, slide the panel downwards. The external cable interface is at the rear of the terminal. When screwed in place, this cover panel achieves the IP54 rating and retains the cables in their respective channels. The cover panel is fixed by six screws that need to be removed. Once the cover panel is removed, the five interface connectors can be accessed. Privacy handset port, the RJ11 POTS phone port, auxiliary port, DC power port, and the accessory input and alert loop port. Inserting the primary SIM. The primary SIM card is accessed at the rear of the terminal. The cover is held in place by one screw. Once a screw and cover have been removed, you can slide the tray guide into the open position, raise the tray and insert the SIM card. The other option you have is the secondary SIM port. This can be used on its own or in addition to the primary port. Insert the SIM card with the gold connectors facing down. You will notice our SIM card is a fleet SIM. This must be used in the Oceana 800. Close the SIM door and ensure that it clicks shut. Installing the active antenna requires the use of certified satellite and GPS antenna cables. At the top of the docking station, there is an SMA connector, the small gold connector on the left, and a satellite connector, the large silver connector on the right. The cables will have matching connectors. The GPS SMA cable end, the small gold connector on the left, and the TNC antenna cable end, the large silver connector on the right. Connect the SMA connectors and the TNC connectors by screwing into the unit. Avoid over tightening any antenna connectors. At the other end, we need to connect these same cables to the antenna. Here we will connect the antenna cable labelled INMARSAT to the SMA antenna connector labelled ISAT. Then connect the antenna cable labelled GPS to the SMA antenna connector labelled GPS. You must ensure the antenna is positioned correctly with no obstructions or tall structures that could block the signal between the antenna and the satellites. We have further videos in relation to antenna placement for your reference. There are two cables available for connecting power to the unit. This is accessed at the rear of the terminal. Firstly, to connect the DC power source, the DC power cable has three wires, black, yellow and red. When connecting the wires, route the wire end of the DC cable to the connection point. Connect the black wire to the negative terminal of the battery. Connect the red wire to the positive terminal of the battery. Connect the yellow wire to a switch. If the sleep function is not required, the yellow wire must be connected to the red wire permanently. Secondly, you have the option to install using a 110 to 240 volt plug pack. Connect the four-way microfit power connector to the connector at the rear of the unit. Once the power cabling has been inserted, screw the cover panel to the back of the unit. Return the wall mounting plate and the unit is now ready for power connection.
Switch your power on and the signal LED will start flashing red. The terminal will then register to the Inmarsat network and acquire GPS lock. This can take up to two minutes. Once registered, the status LED will be a solid green. From here, you can start to make calls successfully. This has been a video tutorial by Beam Communications. For more information, go to our website, www.beamcommunications.com.